Hey everyone, I'm Brian and you're watching The Builder Place. In this video, we're gonna be making an attachment for our slide hammer to this uh, set of locking pliers. So the slide hammer is a Pittsburgh two pound slide hammer kit from Harbor Freight. The vice grips are model 10R from vice grip. And I bought a coupler that'll go thread onto the slide hammer. I got this from McMaster Car. I'll include the part number to that from McMaster Car in the details on that. And basically you're just gonna thread this coupling nut on there. And then we're gonna weld a small piece of metal between the coupling nut and the vice grips to form our uh, interface. So let's get started building this. To get everything to line up correctly, I wanted to put a piece of key stock in the vice grip pliers I'm just going to lay my ruler or yardstick here and I want my my slide hammer the shaft of the slide hammer to be all in line with the the uh, piece of key stock so I got everything in line here let me see if this is about this is about where I want it down on the on the actual piece maybe just a little bit closer down this way and what I'm going to do is I want to measure the gap here and the gap here and I have a piece of inch and a inch and a quarter by a quarter inch thick steel that I want to make a little short piece of uh, angled piece of metal that will go in there and fill that spot and just weld all this together. So I'm going to measure this and I, I already did this measurement and it came up to be three quarters on this end and half inch on the other end I think is what it was. So I'm going to cut that piece out of here. So let me get my my dimensions and make sure yes it was it was a half inch on the one end so I already blued this so this bluing's let me mark all the way to the edge half inch there three quarters inch up here draw my line across and so take a cut off we don't cut that piece of metal that'll go right in here. I have the part already cut for to put in here. So the wedge side or the tapered side is going to go against the vice grip pliers and then the coupling nuts going to go right there. So I need to got these washers I'm going to use for a spacer to space underneath of it when I weld. I'll take to space that for now but I can't get any spacers getting in the way. So let's make sure that this piece before I do any welding I'm just going to set the piece where it would normally go and set the pliers where I think that I'm going to be doing the weld and we'll lay our yardstick in and I can see that I'm off a little bit on my angle that may just be the placement it's pretty close I need actually probably want to come back just a little bit this way with it I think that looks real close to being what I want. Can't get, can't seem to get it in the same straight axis as the key stock and the shaft for the slide hammer, but it's it's close. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to space this off, and we'll weld this onto the coupling nut first and then once I get this welded on then I'll weld everything to the pair of locking pliers. Okay, I have the piece welded to the coupling nut now I want to need to weld this piece to the vice grips themselves so I clamp the, the coupling nut with a piece I just welded to the um, clamp the vice grips down also so they're centered 
in up and down this way. You can't see that, but um, that's just what it is. So I'm going to put a weld across here on both sides to uh, clamp this together. My weld is, you may or may not be able to see, it don't look that good. My welding is never that nice, but uh, we're going to weld this off camera and then I'll come back to you once get the welding done. Welding's all complete. Let me turn this Okay, got that welder turned off. Uh, got all the welding done, so it's just going to let it cool off. I think I'm going to clean up these a little bit, maybe put some paint on these pliers. They're some kind of yard sale find, and that's why I decided to just use these instead of my new ones. So we'll clean this up a little bit, clean the welds up, and then I'll be showing you the finished product. We'll try to do a little bit of demo, pulling some staples and nails or whatever, uh, maybe even try to find a, a tight cotter pin to pull with it. So, finished up this slide hammer to locking pliers. So I'm gonna do a quick test. I <laughs> decided to paint the thing green. It looks a lot better than what it did. It's kind of an odd color for a pair of locking pliers, but we're gonna go over and we're gonna try to pull out this cotter pin. It's all folded up. So I'm gonna go over and work on that right now and see a demonstration how this thing works. My goal is to pull this cotter pin out with the ears or the ends bent over still. So let's see how this thing works. It may not take it out. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Pull it like this one. It's trying to, but it's not doing that good a job. But I just wanted to show how well it would work. There it pulled all the way out. A little bit of work, but I can see where this would be handy on some of those cotter pins that give you trouble. I'm gonna also, go, we're gonna pull out a couple staples out of a piece of wood, electrical staples, so I'm gonna see how that works with that. That's another test, just see how well it pulls staples out. Most of the time these staples are pretty tight against the wall, wire, so you have to start it, get that pulled out a little ways, and then we'll go to the middle, clamp right in the middle, and then pull that staple out. Let's go to the next one. Change up and put it dead in the middle. Didn't come out that far, so I don't know if I got a good grip. Let me grip it here on this edge. That's a little bit more. That pulled it out. I wasn't even in the middle. Let's try this one here. Go to the middle now. Pull out those electrical staples. That did it pretty easy on that. Here's an example of the two brads that didn't fire all the way in. I've had that happen before with uh, something going with a gun and it just doesn't put the brad in all the way and they're usually pretty difficult to pull out. So we'll just take this tool, let's just easily pull them out. Let's do this next one. Just take your time, pull the brad right out. Here's the completed tool, the slide hammer with the locking pliers. Uh, they appear to work fairly well, especially for removing cotter, cotter pins where I'll use this probably more than anything because they're pretty stubborn. The idea, I originally got it from Farm Show Magazine. Uh, it's a great magazine publication that uh, has all kinds of great ideas. The author of this actually had other attachments that he made to go along with the slide hammer and I'm gonna include that information about the article from Farm Show in the description, along with the part number for the vice grip pliers, the uh, coupling nut, the piece of stock, and the part number for this slide hammer from Harbor Freight. So 
Thanks for watching. I hope you did enjoy watching this. Uh, if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, send me comments. I'll try to reply back to any comments you have.